Hey, Joseph here from geekoutwith.me. I'd like to demo um, this really cool uh, Chrome extension called uh, Save CSS. Now, um, I use this in my uh, development um, workflow, and, uh, and I think it is awesome. So um, I just wanted to uh, quickly kind of go over how it works. So, um, so okay, so initially whenever you install the, ex the uh, extension, uh, this is uh, Tommy Mickelson's blog about it, uh, which has some really cool info, but, um, but uh, the kind of quick and dirty version is basically you, uh, you install the, the um, extension, and then you'll have the save uh, dialog here. Now, uh, you create a mapping, so you create a mapping, and, um, and you uh, paste in the URL for the, um, uh, for the, for where the, the file is on the web, according to Chrome. Uh, in my case, this is localhost slash WP content. Now, I'm going to be working locally, um, and so every time I, um, basically, whenever you make a change to reference this style sheet, it will save on this, uh, wherever this reference is. Now, this is a absolute reference from, um, you know, your, uh, in my case, just applications, map, um, and then the, the folder that the uh, style sheet is contained inside of. Uh, and then, once you have that mapping set up, uh, you want to run your server. Now, uh, to do that, you uh, download this uh, Python script that he has, and uh, you uh, start the Python launcher, which you can get if you, I think it's just, you just Google Python launcher and you can, uh, you can find it. But anyway, it's an application that runs. Uh, all you got to do is just drag the script over, drop it on the Python launcher, and then uh, there, your little server runs in the background. Um, and then you can, you know, you, I mean, you can even close the Python launcher out. You don't need that because it's running actually um, this little script here. So um, I'm going to minimize that and, uh, and just show you how it works. So um, now um, I'm going to be inside uh, Chrome. Um, I've written all of my HTML already. Now this doesn't save HTML; it only saves JavaScript and CSS. But that's not really a problem because I use TextMate for that anyway. So, um, so I have uh, any changes I need to make to the HTML to get myself good CSS handles, I can do here. Um, but basically, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, and, and target, and, and maybe I'm going to change this, uh, this LinkedIn uh, to add to be the full text of the LinkedIn button. I'm going to refresh there, so I'll see it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to target this uh, in, the, in the CSS. Let's see, I don't have a good handle for that, so I'm actually going to add a class called LinkedIn to this. Um, and um, maybe I should be a little more specific. Um, there you go. That is trying to keep from something else later um, conflicting with that. So now, as you can see, I don't have an actual class for that. Now, you can, in, in Chrome, um, many of you are familiar with the inspector, you, you can click the plus and that will add icon underscore LinkedIn, um, but that's via the inspector. With this really nifty uh, little add-on here, I just click style.css, that'll open that up. And then I want to um, a dot uh, icon underscore linked in. Um, and, then, um, and then I can actually edit that inside of here. So color is going to be, I can, I can you know, pass colors to it, etc. Um, but for my purposes, what I actually want to do is uh, change the line height and the padding and a couple other things. So, um, so uh, icon on LinkedIn, line height, it's going to be like 20 pixels, something like that. Oh, you know what? You know what? A better way to do this is actually just to take this image reference and del delete the image entirely and just do it with CSS. Hey, it's really kind of, you know, it doesn't really matter that much, but I, I like I like to have things. If I don't have to have an image reference, I don't need it. Um, background, URL, and repeat, right, top, and then I can add some, I can add some line height, 32 pixels, and then padding, 10 pixels, um, so top right, 40 pixels, uh, and then 10 pixels, zero. I don't really need it on the left. And then uh, the font family is going to be Helvetica, Arial, Sans Serif. All right. Um, and once again, font size, 13 pixels. Now, um,
All right, so um, there we have that. Uh, if I want to add a hover, uh, I can just do that really quickly by adding a hover. And uh, all of this stuff is, uh, is saved if I am... Um, actually, I'm just a color. Um, red or something like that. Uh, maybe I'll make it turn this brownish color whenever it hovers. I believe it's always important to have hover um, some way that something actually. Let me just do this. Text decoration. There you go. That's good enough. So that way, whenever somebody hovers, they know that they're going to be able to click there. Okay, so um, that is basically all there is to this. Um, I, I mean, I use, I personally use the uh, Chrome Inspector all the time. So this is a perfect um, uh, little add-on for me. Uh, and and, and the, what I failed to mention here is that this file is saved. So it's saved 11 seconds ago. So it's saved. If I reload uh, the page, it's still there. Uh, if I look at my style sheet, um, it's all the stuff that I added. Uh, where is it at? LinkedIn. Uh, icon LinkedIn, all that stuff. The one thing is it, it'll add like kind of spaces in your code, but usually, you know, I'll, I might take this and uh, format my CSS when it's over um, anyway, or even, you know, even compress my CSS. Uh, so, you know, no big deal. Nothing, nothing hurt. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's, that's it. It's super, super cool. Really easy to um, to make, you know, uh, just kind of sweeping changes. Uh, line height, 36 pixels. Um, you can you can do a lot of really, really, really cool stuff here. Um, I am such a huge fan of this uh, of this add-on, and I really appreciate Tommy Mickelson for creating it. Um, so, hope that was helpful to you. Um, if you uh, if you have any questions about uh, using the the, the add-on, look up uh, just Google Save CSS Chrome extension and you'll find uh, his blog post and um, it's a super super cool extension um, and uh, it is really 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 cool so I'm really excited that he made it so thanks to him.